Now here's exactly how you can launch any game from, uh, from Epic Games via your Steam launcher. So here's what we're gonna do. First of all, open your Epic Games. Now you need to create a desktop shortcut. So if you don't have it, what you need to do is go to your game, click on these tools right here, then go to manage and here click on create a desktop shortcut. Now here's my shortcut. And now you need to right click on it, go to properties and then copy this URL, control C, and then you can close it. Now we're gonna look for the installation folder. So right click, uh, so click on the dots on your game and then go to manage. And here you should see installation. So click on this little folder next to uninstall. And now you will see where the game is installed. So I suggest uh, keeping this open and then go to your Steam. Now here click on add a game, add a non-Steam game. And now you should uh, go to the file where your game is installed. So in my case, so click on browse. In my case it's in this PC and then it's on the local disk D. So I click on D, go to uh, the game here. Guacamele, and then you should see a .exe file. You should always look for an .exe file because that's the only file that uh, can be added. Now, if you found it, click on open. Now, let's say uh, most of the time it will be in the program files uh, times 86, but in my case, I downloaded it here. Open, click on add selected programs, and now you have your game here. Now something very important you need to do is right click on it uh, go to properties and then on the launch launch options write this uh, middle dash and then press ctrl v so this is the url of the shortcut so this is the url from the shortcut and now you can launch it from steam so you can uh, change the name if you'd like Guacamelee, and then you can close it down. And now let me just close everything down. If you now click on play, you can see that the game will launch and I can play it from Steam. Now something useful is that you can now uh, press shift top and open your overlay. You can add friends, uh, maybe remote play. So this is just a lot useful. I hope you enjoyed this and I say thank you for watching.